Rosenberg, our queen, is headed to Vegas. Yes, Janet Jackson has 10 shows scheduled at the Resorts World Las Vegas starting at the end of this year. Oh, we're going. Stretching oh. into 2025. We're going. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she said um, she they announced it. I think the first show is December 30th and 31st, but additional gigs are later January 3rd and 4th, 2025. And then she's going to return for more shows February 5, 7, 8, 12, 14, and 15. All righty. Exciting. I mean, and by the way, this could just be a taste. I mean, who knows? Maybe she ends up doing Vegas a little bit more. I feel like the modern day Vegas residency thing is still shaping up. Like people are still testing the waters for. What it I could think look after, like. Well, I think Jan, didn't Janet just do a worldwide tour? Has she been touring for like the last year nonstop? Not nonstop, but, she, for, but, but a lot. Pretty pretty consistently. Yeah. And and I think after you do a long tour, the best thing to do is to go set up shop somewhere where people come to you now. Right? Make it a part of an experience. And those Vegas theaters aren't as big as arenas, right? You, know, you only got to put like 4,000 people in there a night or something. 3, yeah, they're more intimate. Yeah. I don't know about Resorts World, but it, yeah, I, I'm guessing it's a few thousand. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm here. A, the strong move, Janet. Strong move. I'm here for it. Rosenberg, we Jan- got to put on our shirts and go. Oh, listen. Which shirt? Which shirt? Because I have too many. You know, my stash know. right now has gotten crazy. <laughs> and I got the bootlegs. The and I got the bootlegs from the last time I went to the concert. Um, in other news, okay, we've been talking about the DNC day three, and um, I, let me see. Do you guys have, um, Shani, do you have a, a piece of uh, Kenan Thompson yesterday? Because I thought he shined last night. Oh, I thought you was going straight to uh, Janet Jackson's cousin, Stevie Wonder, performing. I mean, <laughs> that's we, right. that's right. I don't think we have a clip of that, but he definitely was incredible, as he always is. You are on insulin to manage your diabetes, Yes. Yes, and thanks to President Biden and Vice President Harris, I only pay $35 a month for my insulin. There you go. That is great. That is great. But on page 465, Project 2025 calls for millions of people like yourself to pay more for prescription drugs like insulin. Why? Why? Well, I guess maybe to help Big Pharma make more money that they can donate to Republican politicians, I assume. (laughs) Yeah, that makes sense. Yes, unfortunately, it does make sense. So he did a few of those, but it was really good. And in a way, I feel like sometimes breaking it down like that is the only way where people really will be able to digest some of the things we're facing. There were a couple times during that, though, where I thought the Democrats were trying. We were trying too hard to make it look. He went to a couple people, and I was like, why do they have these people on the TV screen? He, and like they had nothing to say. They would just be sitting there like, hi, Keenan. Well, it's, it's, like, it's the same reason Griff sometimes put people on hold, and we go to them, and we're like, yo, hello? Hello? <laughs> oh, no. Why did you put that person on hold, Griff? <laughs> no, but Keenan was very good, man. Shout out to him. By the way, they said Mindy Kaling was emceeing yes. yesterday. I didn't see her at all. I saw Mindy come out, and she she was shouting yeah. out Massachusetts, and she shouted out Boston, and she was like, Ben Affleck, hang in there. <laughs> really? <laughs> she did? She was like, uh, you know, people hate on Boston. I don't know why. You know, shouts, go Sox. You know, she was saying a bunch of stuff, and she was like, Ben Affleck, hang in there. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. That's your flesh and light report. 